This is Nick's Planer, where you've got questions and we've got answers. We read the comments from our last video, and it seems like you all want to know about selfies, why your voice sounds weird on recordings, and how the internet actually works. Let's get right to it. First question, who snapped the first selfie? These pics might seem like something brand new, but they're pretty much as old as photography itself. But first, what is a selfie anyways? The word selfie originated in Australia as a shortening of self-portrait. You look surprised. <laughs> which can be a drawing, painting, or picture of yourself. But we're only interested in photos here. Crikey! But back to your question. Robert Cornelius snapped the first one, but it wasn't very snappy. He had to stand incredibly still for between three and 15 minutes in order to get the perfect shot. Why can't I move? Yeah, I can't move either. Back in 1839, photographs were taken on polished silver and required lots of bright light from the sun, so taking a selfie was not an easy feat. The first selfie even had a caption on the back. First light picture ever taken, 1839. But he didn't even use any emojis. A few years later in 1914, the first recorded teenage selfie was sent from one friend to another when Grand Duchess Anastasia Nikolaevna of Russia sent a pic to her friend. This one had a description too. Quote, I took this picture of myself looking at the mirror. It was very hard as my hands were trembling. Which makes sense because look how big cameras used to be. In 2019, selfies will be turning 190 years old. How are you going to celebrate? Let us know in the comments below. Guess who's got 12 thumbs and set a record climbing the rock wall yesterday? This guy! <laughs> that guy. Here's a good one. Whenever I take a video, my voice sounds super weird. Why does my voice sound weird when it's recorded? Yeah, everyone's voice sounds different in their head than it does when it's recorded. But then you ask, is that really what my voice sounds like? And everyone else in the room says, yeah, that is what your voice sounds like. So why is it that you are the only one who doesn't know the sound of your voice? Yeah. To answer that question, first we're gonna talk about sound. Sound is vibration that you're able to hear when it hits your ear. Usually the sound vibrates through the air, but if you've ever heard a phone vibrate on a table, you know that solids make vibrations sound super different. So how does that relate to your voice? Well, when everyone else hears your voice and when you record your voice, the sound travels through the air to get to other people's ears. Pretty Polly wore purple potato pants to her Purim party in Pittsburgh. Henry, how's that sound? Painful, please, stop. <laughs> But when you speak, the vocal cord vibrations that make those air vibrations also vibrate your body. So the vibrations jump through your skull and hit your ear that way too. Your skull messes with the vibration waves and changes the pitch of the sound to make it a little lower. Together, the higher pitch air vibrations and the lower pitch skull vibrations combine into the voice you hear when you speak. You can buy my time in here tonight! Night! Night! So when Jace took this video... Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jace, and I'm taking you guys behind the scenes of one of the biggest Henry Dangers ever. His voice sounded a little deeper in his head, like this. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jace, and I'm taking you guys behind the scenes of one of the biggest Henry Dangers ever. Weird. All right, everybody. That's a wrap. We're done. Next question. I'm always online, but don't actually know how the internet works. Like, what happens when I send someone a pic? Well, back in the day, people called the internet the World Wide Web because it was a series of wires and cables connecting computers all over the world. Nowadays, it's pretty much the same thing, even if you don't see any wires. So here's how it works. Let's say you want to send a pic to your friend. Looking good. You hit send, and the pic begins its journey by breaking into a bunch of tiny pieces and one by one using radio waves to wirelessly transmit to a nearby cell tower. You might think it's heading into space or bopping from satellite to satellite, but it's actually going underground. If you were sending pictures to the Game Shakers in Brooklyn, what? Shake it! Shake it like a Game Shaker! It goes from your phone to a cell tower, then underground across the country. Each piece of the picture takes its own journey through different wires to get there as fast as they can. And in the end, they all pop out of a nearby cell tower and get downloaded to their phone wirelessly. What if you're sending a pic to the Thundermans on vacation in Hawaii? Thunderfans! How do you think a pic crosses the Pacific Ocean? It's cables to the rescue again, only this time it's a giant underwater cable. I know, fishy, right? When it gets to the right island, the package gets broadcast over a cell tower and the pic rebuilds itself on your phone. Don't worry, it comes with instructions. Smiley face, thumbs up, taco taco, smiling pile of poo. <sighs> 
Sent. And when you scroll through your feed, each pick and video comes to you from big computers called servers from all over the world. Each post has broken themselves into hundreds or thousands of little pieces, raced underground, underwater, and through the air, and rebuilt themselves just for you. So yeah, the least you can do is give it a like. See the view count? Only 27 people have clicked on it. Sam? Yeah? That's why it's do you have any questions you want to ask Nick Splainer? About the internet, snow days, birthday cake, or anything else? Let us know in the comments below. Nick Splainer, out. <laughs>